uh, size bigger size of the drop, droplet. Sorry. So we called it. We I named it the cryotech method. A little bit of story history of the rapid vitrification. The first successful report of Roland Fay in 1985. After 60 years, I first succeeded the vitrification of mammalian oocyte uh, using, uh, using my vitrification method in 1991. When I was 29 years old, I, I was younger. And next year, so we first succeeded mammalian IBM oocyte vitrification and produced two healthy calves. Then porcine brushes and porcine oocyte. So you would say 90% of the survival after vitrification of porcine pig oocyte and produced a healthy pig rate in 1998. You know, porcine, is, porcine pig is the most difficult animal for cry preservation. And also, oocyte is the most difficult stage of a cell to be cry preserved. So the combination of porcine and oocyte is the most difficult cell for the freezing in old mammalian cell. Then, we mod I modified this method for human. In 1999, so we obtained the first the pregnancy or pregnancy after vitrification of human oocyte for American couple. So we vitrified two, and two of two uh, survived in the next day. And uh, two of two fertilized, two of two to cleaved. After transfer, we get pregnancy. Then we mod I modify this method for the wider spread of the use of the technology because I believe technology has its meaning if it is used as in many cases for to save many patients. So we open my I open uh, my technology. I op I teach everything for to anyone. Then I make the simplify in the protocol and I named it as client top method. So we obtained about 90% of survival with this method. Then it's not enough. So I keep improving this method. I give improvement in, in the solution and the system in 2005 and give them further improvement in 2008. So the latest version of the cryotop used in the world wide way is my four years, uh, four years old version. It was developed by 2008. However, I still find out many problems in my cryotop method. So many difficulties over toxicity of the solution and the possibility of the virus contamination from the serum. So we improved the 10 points of my old cryotop. Then I, I think now it is now perfectly worked for my old embryologist worked in, under my supervision in in the 12, uh, IBS, uh, 12 countries for a 58 IBS centers. So I named it the cryotechnology, cryotech method. So I have used chemical defined vitrification solution. And uh, since then, when I teach um, and direct training of hands on, all the embryologists can obtain 100% of survival from last year. So the main of my finding is the use of hydroxypropyl uh, cellulose, which I find in 2000, 2010. It is very, uh, very high viscosity. It's increased the viscosity of the solution. So we can very good the status of the vitrification solution. Then we don't need to minimize the vitrification solution on the cryotech. So we, want, we uh, can avoid the pressure damage of the blastocyst. This is one reason uh, many embryos cannot obtain 100% of survival. And we can reduce the many, many pressures during, during the equilibration and the dilution steps by using a very viscous solution. This is HPC. And this is a cryotech system. So we also designed a new plate and a new device for the vitrification. So the first is, is a chemical defined. This is chemical defined BS. This my solution con doesn't contain doesn't contain uh, serum and the protein and the HSA, albumin and the globulin. All the solution, all the vitrification solution exists uh, in the world is now they con it's con uh, serum or uh, mainly SSS. SSS content is globulin or uh, serum. 
So still many people believe the serum or, or, or protein is needed to obtain the higher survival rate, but it's not. So HPC works much better than serum and SSS. And we find some problems when we use sucrose. Almost all, all the solution, vitrification solution in the world contains the sucrose. And also uh, in equilibration solution or diluent solution. So many people, uh, me also, have, have used sucrose. However, sometimes we find some problem with endotoxin in the sucrose. So we change the, the sucrose to endotoxin free tolerolose. So this doesn't contain any endotoxin, and the vitrification ability, uh, I mean, the amorphous, amorphous ability of the soluble water, so when using of the, of the trehalose is two times better than sucrose. So using trehalose, we can improve the quality of the vitrification solution about two times. And I also designed new uh, cryo buyers. So we have much a big, bigger handle to give the more, more information of the patient embryos and easy handling. And uh, so this is more stable and uh, we can use this cryo container as multiple vitrification. So normally, uh, the cryotope system is only for the open system, but we can use this system also as closed system. Okay, so using a sorry, go, go advance automatically. Huh? Yeah. So well, first we give a small 30, 30 degree of angle by forcept, and also another angle in the top of the black marks black sheet here. Then after washing oversight and embryos in equation solution and also in vitrification solution, then we lowered the embryo and oversight in cryotech. And after cover, then we submerge it into liquid nitrogen, this closed system. Even if we use the system, even if the cooling rate is lower, so in this system we could obtain about 2,000 degrees centigrade per minute. This is enough for my new solution to obtain the highest survival rate. If you use this system in clothes, we obtain the more than 99% survival can be obtained for all sites and the blast assist. And we improve the solution, uh, not only solution, the plate. So some, I find some embryo has it's, it's very difficult for the loading step. So after washing, then take the all site and put it on the Crytek is a bit difficult. Some lose, lost, or some give more time, longer time, to give the damage to all sides. So I Im improve the dish. We can put the cryotech on this set. So after washing the embryo, we put the embryo in the same focus you know, to the cryotech. It makes it easier okay, to reduce the human error percent. Human, human is the animal to make error. So to reduce the human error is very uh, important to obtain the final 100% survival. Also, I improve the dish in here. I, I add here in the square well and the giving angle of 45 degree. So after warming, so it's very clear to find, it's very easy to find the ore size. Some beginner embryo this to lose the embryo at warming, so by bubbles. And there's no edge, there's no uh, blind space of this, this square. So this also is very need, needed to obtain 100% of survival. Uh, so as I told you, so I improved about more than 10 points of the old cryotope method to obtain 100% survival for all site and embryo for anyone. I, I named it cryotech method. Uh, what is the best cryoservation? So it is easy. The answer is very easy. It is 100% survival after warming. However, some scientists said, or some fake scientists said, there is no 100% exist in the science. So, however, it is, it is a lie. You know, if we vitrify 10 oocytes, okay, 
all the all sites survive before vitrification, of course, you know? The percentage of survival rate, survival rate before vitrification is 100%, okay? So we start from 100%. So by minimize the, minimizing the damage during the crab preservation process, five steps, so we can keep 100% survival, okay? From, from the start to the end. The slide shows the three important rights in IBF laboratory. Okay. So in IBF laboratory, the embryologist working in here and she, they got the all side from physician at the OPU. Then they, they have to produce. The IBF laboratory is a black box to produce the best viable blastocyst or embryo to be implanted. So from the all site at the, at, the, at the OPU. So for that purpose, the laboratory has three technologies. The first is IBF, fertilization technology. And second is the in vitro culture, culture technology. The third one is freezing technology. And all three, these technology, the, it's their level, technical level can be evaluated and compared by the rate, fertilization rate over developmental rate, over blastocyst formation rate, over survival rate. And for fertilization rate, if you give X 10 oocytes, and then the next day, if you one get fertilized, the fertilization rate is 10%. If six fertilized, fertilization rate is 60%. So fertilization rate starts from 0%, and normally uh, up to 80, 80%. And the culture, if you culture 10 zygotes for five days, and if you obtain the two blastocysts, the blastocyst formation rate is 20%. If you five blastocyst formation rate is 50%. Okay. So in the culture, blastocyst formation rate is also start from 0%. However, the cry preservation, all the all sites surviving, all the embryos surviving before vitrification. So survival rate start from 100%. So if the all site has no damage in all five steps, equilibration, vitrification, cooling, and warming, and dilution, so five steps, survival rate continued to be 100% to the end. So 100% is possible in cry preservation. And also, high survival rate of critical method means because of the smallest damage, lowest damage, minimal damage. So high survival rate, high survival rate means lowest risk. So it is called not only effective method, but also it is safety method. 